Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and we're going to unbox the Super Nintendo Classic, Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic. I've had one for a very long time, and this is something I've been looking forward to since my previous or old Super Nintendo doesn't really work very well with these new TVs. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this is the Super Nintendo Classic, and it's $80. It's very small. The whole box is much smaller than the original Super Nintendo. And I also picked up this book. It came in hardcover or softcover, and it's all about the creation of the Super Nintendo and the the cartridges that come with it or the games that come with it. So it's, it's pretty neat. Let me move this out of the way. That was $20. So let's go ahead and open this up. So I picked this up at GameStop. They had two left after their pre-orders and the line that they had in their building uh, the morning of. So let's slide this out here. And nothing else in the, in the box here. So we've got a little bit of literature. Let's see what comes in here. Anything special? Probably not. Let's see. Super Mario World. Oh, it looks like it's a, a poster. So let's open this up. And it's a poster of all the different games that are included with it, or at least some of them that are included with it. And then it's just some instructions on the back, so that's pretty neat. Let's move this out of the way. And in here, we have a wall adapter, very similar to what we'd get with a smartphone. USB to AC power, and it says Nintendo on it, so that's pretty neat. This is one of the controllers. I guess it comes with two different ones. So there's one with the cable. So let's undo this, take a look at one of them. And the end is a proprietary end that it looks familiar. I can't remember what exactly uh, other con consoles have this sort of plug, but it looks familiar. Let me move that away. And then here we have the other included controller. I'll just set that away since we know what that is. And here's the console itself. It's a tiny little thing that looks like the original. So that's pretty small. It fits in my hand. No plugs here. And you've got the buttons on oh, their functional. You've got reset, power, the eject doesn't push. On the back, you just have HDMI out and USB or micro USB to power it. And then on the bottom, there's just four rubber feet. So let me set this aside for a moment. And it comes with an HDMI cable and the micro USB cable. So just micro USB to USB, like you'd get with some smartphones if they don't have USB-C on them. And then uh, a typical Nintendo-style HDMI cable. It says Nintendo on it. Uh, the Wii U has a, a gray one. The Switch has a black one. It's very similar to that. Since we have no controller ports right here, this actually pops open like this, which isn't the most elegant thing, but it pops open, and then these click into place like that. So that's how you actually connect the controllers as opposed to the old style little ones. It would have been kind of neat to see them remake these in miniature, but that works just fine. So for comparison, here is my original Super Nintendo controller. So they're very similar. They're basically the exact same thing. Just one looks a lot newer. This one's pretty old at this point, but it still works. Uh, and we just have a different plug on the bottom. As for the console, well, they're hugely different in size. So you've got the original with the eject button, Donkey Kong Country, and I've got some of the games that are already on here, such as Zelda, Yoshi's Island, and F-Zero. So that's pretty neat. It's pretty old and yellowing. And of course, now on the back, of course, they're very different, and I'll finally be able to play this one. So I want to just do a quick unboxing and take a look at the old one verse the new one a little bit, see the size difference. And it's pretty amazing how far we've come where we needed something this big and each cartridge had enough memory for one game basically. So this cartridge has enough memory, this has enough memory for many different games. And if you're not familiar with what comes with it, it comes with an unreleased game, Star Fox 2, which obviously I've never played. Uh, they're, they're available as ROMs online in some places, but we have Earthbound, which is really expensive at this point if you were able to buy it, and Secret of Mana, which is also really expensive. But Mega Man X, Super Punch-Out, Castlevania, Kirby, Final Fantasy III, many of these 
cartridges are pretty expensive at this point because it's starting to become very collectible. So now we get to play them and don't have to worry too much about that. If you'd like to see more videos about the Super Nintendo Classic, let me know in the comments below. Uh, this is my favorite console of all time. It just, there's something classic about it. The original is my favorite. Yoshi's Island is one of my favorite games ever made. And I'm pretty excited to play this. So I'll go ahead and try that out and let me know if you'd like to see more videos about it. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <laughs>